Hey, what's up? What's up? Hey, Dr. Gallagher, how are you? Brendan, Brendan, call me Brendan. <laughs> hey, Brendan, how are you? Good. How's everything going? Everything's going great. Um, yeah, just got back from vacation, so getting back into things. How about yourself? Good. I'm off today. I was on call until about 10 o'clock this morning, so now I'm off the rest of the day. Where, where'd you go on vacation again? <laughs> I was in Vegas. Oh, yeah. Oh, lots <laughs> of fun over there. <laughs> yeah, it was a nice, nice getaway. <laughs> so what's um, going on? How are you doing today? You just got out of work? No, I'm I'm a teacher, so I'm off the summer. Um, I am getting ready to move. So from LA to just the next town over to Pasadena. So that's the next three days. Oh my. Got- oh my. <laughs> yeah. It's gonna be busy, so, huh? Yeah, but you know what? It'll be it'll be okay. Just gotta get through it. Cool, cool. I I just realized this is a recording. Is that okay? I might post it on youtube channel podcast just because i like to record and document the journey and stuff so that's yeah okay. no that's fine i just it surprised me last time you're like yeah maybe we'll post it and then i saw it online <laughs> <laughs> yeah why not why not i think it'll be cool because it, it kind of it shows the journey of and i think in the future yeah. as we go more social media based things get very like personalized and i think personalized brands are they're exciting and Showing insight on how to kind of start something if this becomes a success. It's like, that would be awesome, you know? Yeah, of course. No, I totally get it. I love it. Um, how's how's Elise? I know that there's something going on with her family. Is she okay? Yeah, she's she's okay. And thank you for asking. Her um, her nephew came down with just all, basically like brain cancer. And uh, oh my goodness. I'm it's so been sorry. it's been tough for them. She's been marking like crazy to try and get the don't like the um you go fund me out for donations and stuff. And I mean, she's been doing that a lot with her sister. I think she's really been taking on the responsibility of that, which is super impressive to see for one. I'm proud of her for that. And two, it's been successful, which is. That's wonderful. That's really great. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's, it, it's really unfortunate that, you know, what, you know, what's going on and everything, but it's also exciting to see that like, she, she does work, you know? <laughs> Yeah. yeah. No, she's uh, definitely going hard at it. So please let me know if there's anything I can do to help. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I mean, you could help. We can get this thing off the ground. This is going to be you, me, all of our saving grace. I think, I mean, the purpose behind it's, it's fantastic. So you, you said you had made uh, like a prototype, right? Kind of. So here's what kept happening. You sent me the pictures. This is the closest that I could get. I tried tracing patterns out. Uh-huh. And no matter what I did based off of that picture, I could not get a prototype that fit or looked right. So here's what I did. I went to the fabric store, found a generic pattern for just a standard scrub cap, just so I could see how it works and figure out what I was missing. So they come in a pack like this. This has scrubs. It has all sorts of things. Um, Got a scrub cap, tried figuring it out, and then left to go on vacation and just came back. Okay. Okay. What I found out, hold up, let me turn my air conditioner off so you can hear me. I hear you. I hear you good. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. So came back and did some more research. So the nice thing is this is actually just made out of a very standard cotton. It's called Kona cotton. They're just a big fabric company. You can go to a fabric store and get a bolt of this. What we couldn't figure out though, and I went to like a Joanne's fabric and they have all of that there. What I couldn't figure out though is fabric has different weight. So if you imagine cutting a meter of fabric and weighing it, they all have different weights. So this one that I got is a is a hundred and a hundred and sixty grams. This okay. feels too dense to match this. This is about 120 grams, and this feels too light to match this. Kona is roughly about, it's always four ounces, and I have to do the conversion. Um, I do think lighter would be better. Lighter. Oh, this is about 115 grams. Oh, so 120 is close. Okay. Yes. So 120 is close. The thing is, I'm assuming you've put this in the washer and done laundry with it yeah i think that yeah yeah yeah, for sure i don't know if that's what's softening the fabric so the lighter fabric is better because it doesn't feel as 
you know, heavy or heat resistant. So if you think of a lighter fabric, we look at things like linens and uh, lighter cottons and silks, heavier fabric would be something like denim. So just that's the spectrum we're looking at. Cottons can be anywhere in between because they're always blended with something. Kona cotton and the cottons that I've got are just standard cotton. They're not mixed with anything. It's not a poly blend. What I'm trying to figure out is if you think like a heavier fabric like denim, it's more durable. It can take more washes. It can be, if you get something on it, it can be scrubbed out more. So what we can do is I'm going to send you prototypes made with all of these and we can figure out how dense you want the fabric. It doesn't necessarily mean that heat is going to get trapped in um, because it is thicker, it can absorb more before it needs to be, you know, before it's fully saturated. What I'm trying to figure out is based off of what you gave me, how dense do we want to make them? Um, and this is where I nerd out as a seamstress. A 20 gram difference doesn't sound that big to somebody, but it can, it, for me, I'm like, no, I need to find the perfect match. So we can get Kona. Kona is really accessible to get, or I have a fabric I hear that I work with frequently. And if we need to make bulk orders from him, we can. And, um, he gave me different fabrics. Um, this is lighter. You can even see it just the way it moves. Yes. I like that. How, through that is. This How is flexible is it? 120 gram. Huh? 120. Okay. And then flexibility. Flex. I mean, it's fabric. It's all flexibility. It will stay on. Um, and you can ball it up and put it in your pocket. You can throw it around. It's not going to get ripped or damaged. And you then can, what about shrink? How much will it shrink in the wash and like say a really hot wash? Um, that's what I'm going to figure out later today. I am doing all of my laundry things. So this is going to be the next to go in and just figuring out, um, how much it'll shrink. Right. This, you can see, this has a little bit of stretch to it. Um, not all of them do because they're heavier. This is just the one that uh, he had. You can see it's more dense. It's not as see-through. So things aren't going to, if you spill something on it, it's going to be more absorbent. You can also see like trying to look through it. You can't see as much through it. That's just that thicker fabric amount. Which one's softer? This one's going to be softer. Okay. Okay. Cause I'm, I'm, I also want, so this, th that is the best scrub cap that I have worn. The yep. second best one is made by figs and I could get one and send it to you if you want, just so you can see they use, it's a thicker fabric. It's more flexible. I don't think it shrinks in the wash at all. It's like the fig scrub is like kind of the most well-known outside of the hospital scrub brand that they do make great scrubs. Um, and they also have an inside lining that I don't think is absolutely necessary. They add like an inside lining right here. Yep. That I, I just want you to take a look. Essentially, number one thing is definitely going to be fit and form. And then after that, I think it's going to be material based upon soft. I think maybe what people would prefer is probably in priority would be soft material and then well, we're going to like, it's got to be affordable, but then soft, I'm thinking would be number one. It, uh, it'll be affordable for us is going to be a priority. And then I think soft and then, well, let me ask you, you're the professional, not me. What am I thinking? Definitely soft, obviously, right? You know, the, the customer, the consumer, the healthcare provider is going to want soft, but then thinking about hmm, light. And breathable versus dense and less breathable versus, I don't know, somewhere in the middle where it's like, it's not going to shrink two sizes right. on you in the wash. Right. So everything, of course, is going to be pre-washed because I hate the shrinkage after you buy something. So every cap that we make will go and pre-wash. So that's not going to be a problem. That way we can figure out how much it shrinks and then we can work our way back to figure out how much fabric we have to cut in order for that shrinkage to be accommodated in the wash. Um, so we'll go ahead and do all that. In terms of durability, it doesn't necessarily mean if something is more dense, it's going to be hotter. Um, having a linen and having a denim are the extreme ends where something is going to be really light or really, really heavy. But that doesn't mean that either one of these are going to feel exactly like those. It just means that there's a bit of a difference in there in terms of what you're going to feel when you put it on. And I'll send you samples of this. You'll be able to feel them. So what I'll do, 
I'll cut out just a sample of this unsewn, unwashed, nothing. So you can feel them. And then I will sew them into a scrub cap, wash the scrub cap, and then you can feel the difference. And then you can tell me what you think would be best. I always look for when I'm looking at clothes, especially clothes that I make or that I would wear in my own profession. Is it something I can throw in the wash easily, which is something that we want. People don't want to have to deal with extra stuff. Is it going to shrink? Is it going to, is the logo going to come off? Am I going to see little strings coming off the side? That's super important. But also I think durability. I don't want something that's going to rip easily or start to fade over time. I want something that is going to hold on for the long haul. I think it might be worth getting a fabric that's slightly more dense because then once you wash it over time, just like a nice pair of jeans, it's going to get softer. It's still going to have that durability. Um, it's not going to be as hard as this one feels initially. Okay. Okay. I see what you mean. And then if everything is going to be washed, we should probably make it after the wash, right? Because if it does shrink a little bit in the wash and it's already made, it'll, right. it'll change the size. So I guess all the fabrics we right. washed and then made like the scrub. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you can do that. Um, I, I go back and forth with this because sometimes when you throw fabric in the wash, these little threads on the end start to come off and then it destroys the fabric. There's ways around that. Um, so I always like to experiment with washing before and after just for my own knowledge, um, for me to be able to see what makes sense, but mm. yeah, throwing fabric in the wash ahead of time and, uh, is always helpful because then you don't have to worry about any of the also um, dyed fabric, the bleeding all over everything else. If you're going to put it in hot water, that's the last thing you want. <laughs> that's to yeah. get those dyed. So of course, doing that first is super helpful. The linings on things, you can choose to line. Um, let's see. You can choose to line something with a silky like this. The reason that's nice is especially for... Um, I know for scrub caps with having longer hair, one of the things that the women who I went to nursing school with have said is they prefer this because they feel like it protects their hair more. It's not breaking against having a rubbing on a harsher fabric like cotton. Mm. And quite a few scrub caps, the larger surgical ones that have sort of the bouffant look have a silk lining. This can be our second project. It doesn't have to happen now. Sewing a silky fabric, something that's stretchy, silky, soft, against a harder fabric, like the one I showed you, the 160 gram mm -hmm. can be challenging. It would be something that we'd figured out, but almost every scrub cap company that I looked at that had a wide range of scrub caps had something like this available. It wasn't necessarily their best seller. It wasn't, you know, their number one product in any way. They weren't advertising it as like, this is our go-to, but it was on there. So I think this is something to explore in the future. Definitely. Definitely. Yeah. I do notice that in the hospital scrub caps that fit the head a, a, like a lot more. Yeah. Um, That don't kind of have the outline along the top of where it's, it's two pieces. It's the band and then the top. So you're talking about the seam right here. Right. Uh, well, there are some stretchy scrub caps that do have that inseam along the top, but they're yep. so stretchy and flexible that they kind of mold to the head a little bit more. And yep. I don't know what it is, but in health, from what I see in the hospital, those get used less. I think it has to do something with the aesthetic. So they definitely, people definitely want a little bit of that inseam to be visible up there where it's like, it's not like this. It's like that. I don't know. I, I don't know. I can't describe it, but that's what I've noticed. Um, so sem sem semi-fitted. So like, like semi-fitted, but not completely fitted, L more like mildly fitted, I guess. Okay. My, I'm just I'm... probably less fitted than more because the tie string in the back is going to allow the adequate fitting, you know? Right. Correct. Um, now I saw you, this had tie strings on it. We can do tie string. We can just have an elastic put in there. Um, we can do a combination of having an elastic string to tie. I can give you all of those options, but I'm assuming that, you know, if it's, also, this is the other thing. This isn't like a drawstring. This is sewn onto the back. We can do a full drawstring in there. Um, I'm also a fan if it's not broken, you know, you don't need to fix it. So if this works great, then this works great. I um, honestly, If we could even just 
replicate that entire hat with whatever material you think would be afford, like, you know, in a way that's quickly, but then also affordable and kind of hits our dimensions right. your recommendation based on like texture as well as what we said. Yeah. 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 Okay. Cause we so, also got to think, you know, if we put the drawstring all the way around it, we also got to consider, you know, um, what would it be like handling time? I don't want you to be this. I don't want this to be like a long time for you. We want it to be kind of efficient for you. So it's kind of right. Like a streamlined process. I wouldn't want it to be something that takes days for you to make. I'm so excited. No, no, it doesn't. Um, this doesn't take long for me to make it all the hardest part for me. And the reason I don't have any is because I kept in order to not waste fabric. I kept putting them together and taking them out with the measurements that you gave me. Once I get it down, it's not that hard. And it really doesn't make a difference to me. Putting in a drawstring, it's just an extra seam on the bottom that it goes through. It doesn't take that much longer. This mm. took me, I want to say from start to finish. I was just doing one, which is a little different because when you have a production line, everything speeds up. From start to finish, it took me under an hour. And that was with measuring, cutting out fabric, sewing things together. Okay. Which is right. not a very long time. But again, when you have a production line and you just pick up, you know, the top piece and the band and everything's all measured out for you and you already know what you're doing, that time goes down significantly. Um, I know that you were saying that you had some people that you talked to. Yeah, I sent you the 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 email chain, I think, that mm -hmm. it was the the comfy caps person that, that's like her company that I kind of lost touch with there a yeah. year ago. Um that was it was her yeah and she had the dimensions and then we kind of modified it together and i never heard anything back so that's kind of okay. where i left off <laughs> okay and then you said something about um in the in the instagram this morning in the instagram messages you said something about you had a somebody with a swimsuit line that could also do scrub caps as well maybe do scrub caps. I haven't contacted them. I have a, so Luce is one of our good friends, uh, Monica. Yeah. She also named Monica. How about that? <laughs> she used to make, I think it was like swimsuits, right? Mm -hmm. And design her own stuff and have an online store. She would sell it and whatnot. She had someone, she would go, I don't know if it's a team. I don't know if it's one person. Um, they all speak Spanish. I think the person she was using speaks, do you speak Spanish? I don't know. I, there's a long story behind my Spanish speaking, but I can make myself understood. All right. All right. All right. I, I don't know if they're exclusively Spanish speaking or English, you know what I mean? So I have no idea, but that, and I think they're located in Brooklyn, but these are options, just whatever we can do to figure out as we try and scale a little bit, you know, because depending on speed, it would be awesome. If you and me, we could get down the design, the, the size, the fabric, you know, the quality, the this and that. And then we could outsource where you and me, we talk more vision. We talk more. All right, let's try this fabric. Okay. Let's try this size. Let's make a bandana now. Let's make a t-shirt. And then we could kind of just size it, make prototypes ourselves, whatever, and then send it to our production line, so to say that, I mean, this is all months in the future, but you, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, you mentioned bandana line. And of course I started experimenting and I got your, uh, based on the one that you wear i, I, I did wear uh, that i i've been I'm wearing that less and less because it's weird it's like i don't want to get political but it's almost like wearing an american yeah, flag yeah. has become political and i so i i've it's been tough you know <laughs> it's all good there are plenty of other designs here um and fabrics here and then um i also in addition to getting some samples um I also started experimenting with colors, so you can tell me Ooh. what you want. So I got, yeah. the maroon. I got the maroon, then you asked for forest green. I got that one as well. And then like a, just a standard, like navy color, maybe a little bit lighter. Um, and I can send you these as well. These are not weighted as heavily. These are more, these feel, these are probably the lightest fabric I got. Um, so this is very... So you can see it is very see-through. It is very sheer. Now that's just going to mean less durability. It can rip more easily, but just for color reference, I got these to start out and um, I, I can send these to you as well. And if you like them and if you're okay with how thin the fabric is, then we can go forward. And if you want something thicker, I can always get these colors in a thicker fabric. 
Um, but this is just what I picked up when I was out. I want to try those in whatever side. Like, let's let's use those if we can. I want to try on a prototype. I want us to get the mango logo on it because I want. Is it possible that we could try to get that by September? Is that realistic or is that? Um, I have put a stop to all sewing just while I move. I'll be able to give you a more realistic. I'll be able to give you a more realistic timeline in about a week. I don't want to make any promises right now. Just again, because the school year is starting up. Um, once I know what my schedule for the school year looks like, I will go ahead and give you a timeline. I definitely can get you a prototype or two by the end of September, but I can't give you an actual date um, as of right now. That's fine. That's fine. Yeah. Okay. We just, I get, so those will be starting fabrics. Excellent. As long as we have the size down, whatever the fabric is, honestly, I can wear it because we can always work on the fabrics okay. later, but the size is going to come first for us. And then I do want to get the logo on it because when I wear that, I want it to be able to portray, we got to figure out, when and where logos will go. Right. I was just about to ask, you know, did you want it, you know, on the back where this comfy caps is, did you want something? This is just a label, a standard label, and you can order labels online, like on Etsy for 50 bucks for a roll of them. Did you want the logo like this, where it's just a piece that's sewn on? Did you want a logo that's like this, where it's a mango in the front and it's on there and you're going to see it. Did you want a smaller mango on the side? Did you just want the mango? Did you want the mango in the word? What were you thinking? I'm thinking for the back, back mm -hmm. here, that part. Okay. And and correct me if, if you think something would be better right there. I would want to have written out M H A N G O like mango. Cause it's, that's going to be the right. And then people could just search that and there's no other mango out there that has an M that has an H in it. So I think that will, you know what I mean? Like we don't have to portray the brand. It'll just be like a, a little hint, like in, if you know, you know, kind of thing. Right. Um, right. And another idea I had for that is there, there's a resident in Florida who created Mim scrubs. I would, Oh man, I would love to look up on LinkedIn and reach out to whoever designed the scrubs. Cause I know it wasn't him. Um, yeah. and like get an idea on fabric materials, where do they outsource from? And then maybe through them or just directly really find out how figs does it, how figs, cause they have great fabric. It's like, it's like their fabric. Um, right. I'd love to send you some of these things, too. but th this is, this is all like, we just got to get the size down the original prototype. Right. And then let's see the mango. I was think I always thought of just having the mango right here in the front. Okay. I, I, but I'm not. I'm not def definitely, I also don't want to portray, not that I, I care, but I also don't want people to think that like, it's, it's like, uh, um, you know, cause it's got cool colors, but it's not necessarily like, like, like I, I am an ally, but it's not necessarily like I, I am, you know, I'm not, you know, uh, you know, I don't want it to look like, like, like a rainbow necessarily on my, my hat. Oh, I don't want people okay. to get the wrong impression in the hospital. Not to say that I'm not an ally, but I don't want people to think like, oh, you're it. actively trying to tell everyone that. I don't right. want to, you don't even. So here's my question then. What you could do is you could have the little mango logo here and just have the word across. So right sort of, if I'm wearing this, it would just be right on the side there. And then you were saying that you could let people put their own thing on the front. So I could just put OMFS right here or your name or the hospital you're working at, or I could do something else on the side, put your name on the other side. So it could still be there, but it's not front and center. So you could still see the mango and you could still see the mango, the word there. So people would know it's a brand. Um, so that way it would take away some of the confusion. And I know some of the political, whatever people might assume if you're wearing something. So like then if you have it there, people could still see it. I You're like um, and then people can still look it up. Yeah, I like that a lot. Yeah, let's let's do that. Let's do let's do the right side. The right. Okay. I know in the video it looks like my left. Let's do the right side. When your face on you on your right side, that's exactly where I want the mango emblem to be. 
And the, the mango emblem, how I envisioned it was small. I mean, I think an inch big, just an inch, an inch big, little tiny mango thing. Um, and you, you see how the NYU logo is on that scrub cap? Yep. The purple part, like the block, the, like the actual logo part of the, yep. like, like that kind of um, mango logo thing for over here. So you want, you want a one square inch mango without the background. You just have a mango on there. Wait, I'm, so I'm sorry. For example, just, what I'm saying is just cut out. No, I just cut out. What was that? So when you're saying you want the mango on there, do you want the mango the same way this torch is there and has a purple background? Did you want the mango to have like a background or just the mango? If I meant like, I didn't mean like, like background necessarily. I just mean like that. So my, I don't know the terminology for, um, for the, bless you. Thank you. But if that whole, I'm assuming that they just had that whole square and then they just like patched it on. This is embroidered. It's not patched. But but the whole square. I I meant like just that the mango embroidered. Yes. But no background. No background. I meant. No background. Okay. So one so one inch square mango. Oh, no, not not a square, just like a one inch size. Just no, that's what I I know one square inch. We're getting confused. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I think we're getting confused with what each other are saying because I'm thinking sewing language. Yeah, my bad. I should have clarified. Sorry. That's all right. That's good. No, this is cool. I'm learning. I'm learning. <laughs> um. Yeah. So one. Okay. So it's gonna be on there, and then so it's gonna be the little emblem, and then the word. Do you want the word stylized? Also, I I want it like. So not back here and on the front, like directly in the middle, because also um, when I take the videos, the way I'm, I'd be able to personally market it. Yeah. yeah. So if you could point oh, to okay. it. Okay. On my, this is my right side. So right here. I was thinking more like directly above the ear where okay. it keep a distance between the front and the, yes, like right there. You know what I mean? Okay. I'm going to get some pins and start pinning things up. Give me one second. So it's like we got 10 minutes. Okay. Should be enough time. Should be enough time. Okay. So you said above the right ear. Yes. Like, like in the middle of that, of the band of the hat. Okay. So mid so right there. Right around there. Right around there. Yep. And that's where, Perfect. and that's Perfect. where you want it. The the word or the the logo? The logo, the mango logo. Okay. Okay. Mid band. Okay. So that's where that goes. On the front, what do you want? Do you want anything? Do you want anything front at all right now? Do you want oh my best? Did you want that cowboy tooth emblem? Did you want? Just I want. Did you want your name? Let's actually, because one, it'll be faster. Two, what I've noticed people wanted were scrub caps where the whole fabric is actually a design. So it'll allow us to get to that next step to market it. And then three, right? right it'll be faster to produce it if there's nothing in the front. Two, I don't. I haven't even thought about it. I just. I just want to wear a, a green. A, a forest green scrub cap this fall. Okay. <laughs> and and yeah, I can make whole... that happen. Forest green scrub cap. Right. Mm -hmm. Like, so let's, and then, and then it's exactly what you said. People can order the forest green, the maroon, right. the burgundy, the, the navy blue, and then put their own logo on it. Yeah. I think that's, I think that's going to be the second step to, to marketing. So people don't buy it with their own, they can put their own on it. Like the custom made one. Yeah, I think let's just make it blank. And then when I make these videos, there's no logo on it, but it puts the little mango logo on the side. We'll have it written mango in the back. 
maybe at some point we make it where it says mango in the front. I, I don't know. We'll, we'll get there. Okay. okay. Well, I'm just saying, no, I'm just saying in terms of prototypes, because I can put anything on a prototype just as an experiment. Right. 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 If you want anything on that four screen one, or you just want to leave a blank. Yeah. Let's just leave a blank. I want to make it as easy as possible for you too. Okay. That'll, that'll be fun. That'll be fun. Um, there was so comfy caps is the one you probably looked into that already. Blue sky is another scrub caps that I saw people wear. Um, yeah, I think it's predominantly Amazon and Etsy are the two places. Oh, obviously, fig scrub caps. Um, not so much, but Mims, Mims scrub caps are out there. Yeah. Yeah, if we think of more, just, you know, so you could kind of look at, to see what's out there and stuff. Yeah, of course. I will go ahead and take a look at all of those. Um, I will continue to work on that prototype and figure out. Um, it's so interesting when you look at somebody else's draft of a pattern, it should make sense because it's all the same measurements. But then when you try and draw it out, you're like, wait, what am I doing? So I'll take a look at it again. Um I definitely appreciate your measurements and all your notes going on it. And uh, I will definitely make it work out somehow. Awesome. Awesome. I'm looking forward to it. And yeah, I think we don't want to be too pointy in the front because I remember the last scrub cap that she had sent. So she was just eyeballing it and she did a really good job on many of them and not a great job on some of them. Right. Right. Um, and some of the ones she sent me, I can't even wear them. I ordered 11 and I can't even wear any of them because they were pointy and they looked like a horn. I'm walking around. I'm not going to walk around the hospital with a horn sticking out of my forehead like a like a tail, oh. you know. <laughs> anyway. Um. Yeah. So I think. So. Definitely, I'm going to measure all of them out. Um. If there is a size difference, it will be intentional. But this is why, sort of going forward, having a production line or having the same person cut them every time, is really key. So we don't get that variation in the product. Um. We want the same thing every time, of course. I will go ahead and once I get this done, I can take it to a sewing pattern um, company who will print an actual pattern. So it doesn't, it's not just my drawing on a paper. And that would, that would, um, you can either trademark out that down the road and have it be the mango brand sewing pattern. Um, you can, or we can just have it and then that'll make it easier for anybody who comes on board either in the form of another seamstress or in its terms of like a production line to have this actual pattern done. Um, I probably should hold the measurements the other way. So <laughs> but... uh, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. We, we will trademark it again. Actually, that's a really good point because I do want this to be like, there's going to be so many scrub cuts out there. I would, my vision when I see, I like, I want us to make the best fitting scrub cap like of anything. So when you buy this, it's not like it's not going to fit or not. As far as head width, it's just yeah. by tightening. The height, generally, most people have a similar head height. Yeah. Right? Like in general, um, fitting, fitting is going to be excellent and affordability, right? Right. Right. So is anything trademarked yet, either the mango or the logo or the brand or any of that? Nope. Nothing. No. Nope. Okay. Okay. Just curious. And then, Last but not least for bandanas, um, let's see. For bandanas, I, I wear them every day when I work out. And because it absorbs the sweat for a bandana, I, I'd be looking for something that is very sweat absorbent. Right. So, yeah, but, but yeah, and that's all also number two. Scrub caps are priority. Right. The other thing I wanted to show you, because I was just experimenting. What you can do is you can just have a standard bandana you can line it and then within the liner, you can have a little pocket that's hidden. So you can shove your ID or whatever in there or your key fob for your building. And you can either, you can design it in a way where it's not like you're putting your car keys in there because no one wants their car keys on their head, but you can have a little pocket just this size hidden in there and a small zipper. Oh. So you can wear your bandana. And that's something that I've only seen a time or two but I wanted to present that idea to you because I think that would set us apart from other people. It's not hard to do. And the most expensive part about it is just getting a zipper. Honestly, everything else, it's just a square piece of fabric that's in there. But um, then that way it gives you an extra pocket to have things. 
That is a good idea. I when I wear the band now, I fold it up so it, it's actually it's more like a headband at that point. So it wouldn't yeah. it wouldn't fit anything, but there's definitely gonna be ways we can make that we can make that into certain products. Absolutely. Yeah. That's a great idea. Yeah, of course. Huh. Um no, and I can get that prototype is gonna take longer. I'll focus on the scrub caps, but that isn't hard to do at all. You're taking a rectangle piece of fabric, sewing it on three sides and adding a zipper on the fourth. And you can even do that. You can take a standard bandana from the store and you can do that. And it really doesn't cost a whole lot. Um, that red bandana, what material was that in comparison to the uh, maroon, navy blue and forest green fabrics? I picked this up. I just have it in my closet. I don't know. I'd have to double check. Um, this is still a very light cotton and I think it's somewhere in between those other two, but I can go to a fabric store and find specifically bandana fabric like this. This was just what I had. I'm and, just, uh, I mean, cause I found, I have a, I have a, actually all my bandanas, the American flag one, the black one, there's a blue one that I've got at a contest. They're all the same fat, I think, are the same fabric as that scrub cap or maybe a little, maybe a little softer, I would say. They're not as see-through is that the right word yeah sheer sheer yeah sheer yeah we can definitely do some research and figure that out i would want them to be that same sort of fabric um oh yeah. and i know it wasn't a contest but congratulations on winning on what's his name epic oh <laughs> from, from what's it called from from youtube now imagine if i had our scrub cap on ah. that video right because i had one on that day you did. You did. Right? Imagine that's so yeah. that's the future. That's where we're going with this. Like I got so lucky from I literally just met him that day, like in the apartment. I came in the back door because I came home from the hospital and he was yeah. knocking on the front door. That's literally just how it happened. Oh, that, that, that was, was incredible. Cool. Congrats. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it was good stuff. It was good stuff. Cool. So I will go ahead. I will definitely get you your green scrub cap by by September. You will have one to wear this fall. And Thanks. we'll have the logo. Um, and I will just keep on sending things out as I get them done. And uh, we'll go from there. Awesome. I'm excited for this. And thank you. Yeah, anytime. More than happy to help. I'm super, super stoked to have a have a solid sewing project to keep me occupied for, for a while. Oh, yeah. This is going to be good. This is going to be good. Yeah. I'm looking All forward right, to it. All right, Monica. We'll talk soon. Talk soon. See you later. All right. Bye. Bye.